Everyone says Robbins is the Bible of pathology. But is it really worth buying? Or yes. is it just a huge book that you will never actually read? In this video, I am going to give you an honest review, no fluff, and we are going to discuss about this. Hey everyone, I am Dr. Rapshik Kuli and welcome back to my channel. In this channel, I am going to review every medical book that you need so that you will make a better choice choosing them. In this video, let's discuss about Robbins pathology, whether it truly deserves its legendary status. Alright, let's take a closer look, okay? The one I am holding is a Robbins Pathologic Pieces of Disease and we have two volumes in this, Volume 1 and Volume 2. So, Volume 1 is of around 676 pages and Volume 2 is of 684 pages. So, combined around 1200 pages if we get. This is the front page of the book. It says Robbins and Cotton Pathologic Pieces of Disease. The one I am holding is a South Asian edition and it has a restricted edition supply. It says that this edition is licensed for sale in only certain countries. And uh, this is the back page of the book and this is it and the content. So we have three basic uh, formats of Robbins. We have the Robbins basic pathology around 980 pages and this is the model most MBBS students will use and then we have the bulkier one. This is the pathologic basis of disease and this is the bulkier one. Then we have the Robbins uh, <coughs> pocket book and uh, it provides uh, shorter form of images as well as the notes. So why Robbins is highly regarded? Firstly, it's the clarity. It offers clear, clear cut concepts for any topics that you choose. The most important topics from the Robbins I feel here are the cell injury, inflammation and the neoplasia. And uh, remember that if you have read three, these three chapters from this book, then you have already mastered half of the pathology. Then uh, we'll look at the diagrams. The diagrams and histological pathological pictures are there in every disease that the Robbins is explaining. So you can, uh, it also provides uh, morphological features as well as the gross image of the organ system that the disease uh, Robbins is talking about. Finally, Robbins isn't just for MBBA students, it can also be used by the postgraduate residents who are pursuing pathology in their residency as well. It is also an ultimate book for those preparing for INSCT and EPG as well because it helps build concepts for you people as well. So let's be real, Robbins isn't perfect for everyone. The first problem you have with Robbins is it's bulky. The combined volume of two books, it seems that the information it's provided is too much. So that's the first disappointment that we have with the Robbins, that the information is too much bulky. Secondly, it's not ideal for a quick revision because whenever the, any medical student is going for his prof exams and he need to have a quick revision in the last five to seven days, this book is not ideal for it. Unless he has read the entire Robbins and he has made beautiful notes from the starting of the chapter, then this book will have wonders on him. Some of the chapters such as the lung, then we have the genital urinary system as well as uh, the GI tract. These are way too much information compared to what an MBBA student must learn. So these are the things that makes Robbins as a poor choice when it compared to the other models that we have. So who should actually buy Robbins? Consider if uh, that you are a thorough learner, that you want to understand each of the concepts that actually happen behind the pathologic disease, then this book is the right choice for you. because it beautifully explains every concept that you need to understand. The second thing is if you are someone who wants to know exactly why this is happening, the exact genes involved in the disease and the flowchart pathway that happens because of this, then this book can provide you with that. But remember that if you are not a, uh, someone who is who can't take notes or if you are not someone who want to who would like to read from the first day of the pathology and if you want to at the last moment if you just want to graze the surface and you know pass the exams then these books may not be right for you so if you are a last minute student then you better go for the mcqs the short notes from the coaching institutes as well as some of the other books that we have we'll be discussing in the future so finally here's my verdict so if you are someone who want to learn the exact concepts of the pathology if you want to know the exact reason behind why everything is happening especially when you are into the final year if you are reading medicine as well as surgery then you definitely need to know the pathologic basis behind every concept and for that this is the basic that you need to understand before moving on to them if you are a last minute learner then this book is not ideal for you you have to go for some other mcqs of quick revision models that the coaching has to offer so i have also added some affiliate links in the description you can check them out it will directly help you to buy these books from the amazon as well as i earn a small part of commission from each of the qualified sales from the Amazon. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more honest book reviews like this and let me know which books you want to me to be reviewed. I will help you.
with that in the next video thank you for watching